Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the ASRock Challenger Radeon RX 5500 XT-D 8GB OC card, model number RX 5500 XT CLD 8GO. All right. This bad boy is powered by AMD 7 nanometer RDNA architecture. You can see along the front here, just basics on the card. And then some more marketing stuff along this side. Then here, product specifications and key features and some more advertising of the features over here. One of the big things is the metal back plate over here, which is always great. All right, Challenger graphics card, 5500 XT, along the bottom, chair number, UPC, all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and open it up. All right, to start off with, the ASRock graphics card quick installation guide, which this is definitely great information, but in my next video, we're gonna be doing an installation. I'm gonna show you guys from the ground up how to install this card. So don't worry too much about this guy. Right. Just going to take this out for right now, put this aside, just make sure there's nothing else in this box. All right, basics, good stuff there. All right, this bad boy has a GPU boost clock of up to 1,845 megahertz, a game clock of up to 1,737 megahertz, and a base clock of up to 1,685 megahertz. All right, so obviously this is a dual fan card. You can see, of course, along here, then the extremely large heatsink and the pipes. And then you will notice the 8-pin PCIe connection. Yes, you will need to utilize that when you install it. This bad boy comes with eight gigs of 128-bit GDDR6, 14 gigabits per second effective, and 1,408 streaming processors. All right, so just taking this off real quick. Definitely wanna make sure you take off this before you install the card, and I'll be quiet. That's always great. All right, this will support a maximum of four displays. Just removing these guys real quick. We can see it does come with four display ports and one HDMI. The display ports are 1.4 with DSA 1.2A and the HDMI port right over here is a 2.0B with a max digital resolution of 8K HDR at 60 Hertz. The HDMI will go up to 4096 by 2160 at 60 Hertz. And the three display ports, 5120 by 2880 at 60 Hertz. This is, and it is covered. So I'll go ahead and take it off now. Make sure before you install it, you take this cover off. It does come with an interface of PCI Express 4.0, but of course it is downwards compatible. Okay, this bad boy, the target gaming for this guy is 1080p, which is one of the most popular, if not the most popular resolution for gamers. Okay, and then I mentioned it before, and actually it comes with this as well, so I'll be quiet. All right, that one wasn't as epic but it does have a die casting metal back plate. You can see there, their ASRock logo with a nice graphics back there. And then along here, you may not have noticed it before, but since this will be exhausting some of the heat here, you can see that it does have large fins, or at least this piece right here is large to let more air out. And we can see some of the fins back here, the copper heat pipe right along there. And again, the heat sink back here with the fins right there. And then right over here comes with the Challenger logo. It is recommended to use a 500 watt power supply for this bad boy. And again, as I mentioned before, 
you definitely want to use the 8-pin PCIe power connection. I just wanted to show you the card itself. In my next video, as I mentioned before, I will be doing an installation showing you guys just how to install this, not only installing the card in your system, but also removing the older card, if there is an older card, and then removing the old drivers and installing the latest and greatest. All right, guys, that's about it for now. Again, this was Iggy doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the ASRock Challenger Radeon RX 5500 XT D8 gigabyte OC card. Iggy up. See you guys.